Alright guys, I am back with another movie review, and I just got done watching VHS, and this was recommended to me by Skies Grayful, and I like this movie. It's kind of a anthology movie of a bunch of different stories with all found footage themes behind them. Um, it just has one major story where these guys find these VHS tapes, and each one is a different story. And I really like that. Um, I think if you're a fan of found footage films or anything like that, you would probably enjoy this movie a lot. Um, it's just very well done, and they were able to do a lot because of the found footage theme with a low budget. And I think it just it worked for this movie. I'm a fan of found footage movies. I like Paranormal Activity, so if you do like those movies, definitely check this one out. So, the movie starts off, and we see these guys, they're... They're kind of like a gang or something, and they vandalize a building, and we see that. And the recording, it is, it's all really gritty looking because it's just these VHS tapes, and the video quality gets distorted throughout the movie and stuff like that. And it'll jump around and um, just kind of get like distorted when paranormal stuff happens, and just from the wear on the tapes. So the first one we see are these guys just videotaping themselves, breaking stuff, and um, one of them says, I know how we can make a lot of money. All we gotta do is break into this old man's house and steal this VHS tape and we'll make a killing off of it. So the rest of them agree and they go to this house and um, the leader of this gang kinda goes to look around for the tape and these other guys go upstairs and they find a body. And at first, they, I guess they think he's alive. It's just this old man sitting in a chair, and he's kind of, like, knocked out. So they kind of get jumpy. But then they realize he's not moving. He's dead. So one of them sits down. He's in front of these monitors, just playing static. So one of them sits down in front of this monitor, and I guess he pops in a random VHS tape. They're trying to test the tapes because apparently they'll know they have the tape once they see it. I'm not really sure. Um... I'll, a lot of these stories don't explain what happened. There's really not a lot of conclusion. Um, but they're good stories. There's only one story I really didn't care much for. But anyways, they play the first tape, and that's the first story. And these three guys are going to go out to a bar and pick up a girl. And they have this one friend of theirs. They want to wear glasses. And the glasses have, like, a hidden camera in them. So the plan is to pick up a girl and I guess have him have sex with her and videotape it. I'm not really sure, but they go to a bar and they meet this woman, and she just wants to party, have a good time. So they end up taking her back, but they also take back this weird girl who <laughs> was just really creepy, and she's just always got this weird deer-in-the-headlights look on her face. And she talks to the guy with the glasses, and she says, I like you. I like you. And she just acts really strange. She's out there. But they end up taking her back. So they get back to the hotel room, and one guy is sitting on the couch watching them, and the other guy and the girl who just wants to party are making out on the bed, and then the girl passes out. So he's frustrated, so he goes and tries to make out with the weird girl. And as he's taking her clothes off, um, the guy with the glasses sees her feet. And I guess you would describe them as... They look like the feet of an animal. So he's instantly thinking, oh, maybe this isn't such a good idea. So <laughs> she starts biting one of the guys. And him and the guy with the glasses run in the bathroom. And while they're in there, their friend gets eaten alive, pretty much. She just starts destroying him. And I'm trying to figure out, like, okay, what's going on here? Is she like a vampire or something? And they kind of sneak out of the room, and she ends up killing the other friend. And, of course, the guy with the video camera sees it all. He has to live for at least a little while. So she's killing the other guy, and just, I think she rips his dick off and throws it. Um, just crazy stuff here. So he finally makes it out of the hotel room. And he's running, and then I think he slips and falls down the stairs because he's just staring at his arm and it's broken. So I guess he slips and breaks his arm. And then, this was really creepy, he's looking at the stairs, and he hears a noise, and then the girl just peeks over. She's completely naked, 
but she's not human either. She's got like these weird qualities on her face. It kind of reminded me of the vampires on Buffy the Vampire Slayer, how their faces would get all screwed up. So she's crawling towards him and she says, I like you, again. And I'm like, oh man, she's going to freak out. And I think she says something like, you don't like me. And then she crawls back and the guy's like, oh shit. So despite the broken arm, he's running from her. And he's running and running and then he sees some people in the parking lot and he's going, help me, help me. And then something just picks him up. And she flies away with him, and she has wings like a bat. So we just see this weird view of the camera and the city below him, and it's just moving all over the place, but it was really well done. So I guess she's like a succubus-type creature. Um, but anyways, that's it. The camera, the glasses fall, and that's the end of the first tape. So the story's just kind of... They're not very long. They just start, and then they finish most of the time without a conclusion. But I really like that. So we cut back to the house. And the guy watching the tape is gone. And then another guy comes and he sits down and he puts another tape in. And I notice the old man is no longer in the chair behind him. Just a lot of little things like that in this movie uh, made it really enjoyable. So we get the second tape, which are these two people, and I guess they're on their honeymoon. This man and a woman... And they're going to see the Grand Canyon, I believe. And they stop at this hotel room, and it's late at night, and the guy hears a knock on the door. And they're videotaping their travels and everything. And he comes back in. We don't see exactly what happened. But the woman is talking to her husband, and she says, What was that about? And he says, It was a girl. She was asking us if we could give her a ride in the morning. And he says, You know, this area's... Uh, you know, a little strange. It's got a lot of drug addicts, um, hitchhikers, so let's just not worry about it, and if she's still there in the morning, then we'll call the police, then we'll do something about it. So the wife is like, okay, and she locks the door and everything, and they go to sleep. Well, at night, we see the camera on the husband, and then we see the camera on the wife. So someone's videotaping them. And I'm like, damn, that's awesome. So they're videotaping him, and they have a knife. So I'm instantly thinking it's it's this woman he was talking to. But if that's the case, how did she get in? We saw the wife lock the door. And she doesn't do anything to him. She steals some money, like $100, out of his wallet. She puts his, takes his toothbrush and rubs it in the toilet bowl and then leaves it out. And then the next morning, we see them videotaping. Um, they didn't check the camera, so they have no idea. Could you imagine how creepy it would be if the next day they checked the camera and saw that shit? Saw someone in their room videotaping them? I mean, that would be really creepy. So they go to the Grand Canyon. The next night, they come back to the hotel room. Starts again. Videotaping the husband and the wife. Except this time, the person takes the knife and stabs the husband in the throat. And just good special effects here just destroys him and then the camera kind of cuts back and forth and we see this person wearing a mask this woman making out with the wife so this was some type of set up swerve here where they're in on it together which explains how she was able to get into the room and then we see him driving down the car uh, saying something, about, driving in the car, saying something about, did you erase the tapes? I can't really remember exactly, but that was it. No conclusion, once again. Just a really weird, strange videotape. Uh, but I still enjoyed this story, too. So back to the house, uh, this guy pops in another tape. He's like, what the hell was that? And he pops in another one. Um, but anyways, it cuts down to the leader of the gang before the third tape starts. And he's looking around for a tape down there in the basement. And he's got another guy with him who sees this weird figure, I think it was a naked man or something, walking around behind him um, in this uh, basement area. So they're kind of getting freaked out, but the leader says it's nothing, don't worry about it. So then we go to the third tape, which is this, this one I did not like. Um, these people, these kids, <clears throat> they're camping or something like that. Uh, they're out in this in the woods, and they're supposed to be, I guess they're going to go swimming or something. I can't really remember. 
But they're out in the woods, and it's like this these two guys and these two girls, and they're looking around, and the camera will kind of see like an area, and then it'll show like a dead body there. Like they'll look at the wall, and then you'll see like a corpse, and then it'll cut away, and it's just like the camera distorted. No one actually sees this. Uh, so it kind of small things like that happen here, and then they get to this pond. And the one guy jumps in, goes swimming, and then this this girl and the other guy take the camera, and they're go, going to look around the woods. And this one girl is showing him a cheer, and then we see this figure, who's like this digitized black shadow with a red face, come up behind her and just throw a knife and stab her in the eye. And then it attacks the guy holding the camera and just stabs him in the head repeatedly. It's kind of like this computer game type monster. And then it cuts back to the guy and the girl, and the girl goes and gets the camera. I guess the bodies are gone or something. And she tells the guy she lured them here as bait because this man killed her friends and they never caught him. So she brought these other people out here as bait, which didn't really make sense to catch this guy. And so he kills the other guy, <clears throat> and she starts running through the woods. Um... And the monster's chasing after her, and she's got all these booby traps laid out through the woods, and he falls in one of them, and then he gets hit in the face with this giant spike fence, and she thinks she's got him, and she says, I finally have you, and then he ends up killing her anyway and, like, cutting her guts out or something. I don't know. This one just really sucked. It was kind of cheesy and really hard to believe, so I was not a fan of this one at all. So it cuts back to the house, and now this guy's gone, the one who watched this tape. And another guy comes in, sits down in front of it, and I believe this is the leader, the last one, I think. Or maybe there's one other guy. So they're watching this tape, and this one's a webcam. It's this girl talking to her boyfriend, and the big picture is her, and then he's in the small corner. Um, and they're talking and stuff, and she's saying she's been hearing noises in her house. Uh, her house is haunted, and she hears a noise, and she's like, will you stay with me while I go check on it? And he says, yeah, go ahead. So she goes, and she sees this. She opens the closet, and there's nothing there. And then she goes, and she talks to him and says, oh, maybe it was nothing. And he says, yeah, it's probably just, you know, neighbors or something. Then all of a sudden, this little green kid runs out of the closet slams the door and just vanishes. And I thought that was a really creepy scene. So she's talking to her husband or her boyfriend. He's like, what the hell was that? And she's freaked out. He stays with her. She goes to sleep. The next day we see them talking again. And she says, I heard something else. I need you to stay with me while I check this out. So she goes and she sees another ghost and runs back. Um, and they're slowly building this up. And then the last time, she says, I'm going to try and talk to it. I'm going to see what it wants, if it wants me to find its body. Typical ghost stuff, which I like that they mentioned because a lot of times no one thinks about that. It's kind of like you've seen a lot of ghost movies. You know maybe they want me to find their body or help them do something they couldn't do on Earth. Like the ghost whisperer. So she says, the ghost creeps me out, so I'm going to have to keep my eyes closed while I go and talk to this thing. And the boyfriend's like, okay, I'll tell you when it's there, and then you can try and talk to it. So she goes out, she's got her eyes closed, and he's just telling her where to go. And then she kind of sees these figures, and he says, go back, go back. And she goes back, and there's these three ghosts. And what exactly happens here? She gets knocked out or something. I'm not really sure. This one was really strange. I liked it, but it was really weird. Um, then we see the boyfriend... She's knocked out, but the camera's still on her. And then the boyfriend comes in and cuts her stomach open and pulls some thing out of it. I don't know if it was supposed to be like a fetus or something. I have no idea. And the ghosts are sitting around watching this. And he says, how many more times am I going to have to do this? I don't think she can survive another one. And I'm thinking, is this part of some military experiment? Like, what exactly is going on? And she also had this hole in her arm that she was complaining about and cutting it open herself. And he, he tells the ghost something about how long is the power on this tracer going to last. 
I know, it sounds insane, it was. It was really crazy. So the ghost just sit there. They say something, but I couldn't make it out. And he says he's going to have to make it look like an accident. So the next day, she's talking to him again, and she's all bandaged and bruised. And apparently she says she went to the psychiatrist. They told her she has bipolar. She's schizophrenic. And that's what happened. She said, I don't remember anything. I don't remember running out of the house. And I guess she got hit by a car or something to try and explain it. And the boyfriend's like, yeah, um, you know, it was all in your head. And then it cuts to another girl on webcam who he's also talking to. Excuse me. And she starts to complain about a lump in her arm. And then it ends. So I really thought this was kind of, you know, one that needed more of a conclusion. I enjoyed the story. I thought it was interesting. I always wanted to see what would happen next. And I liked how it was, you know, the ghost looked really good. Um, but yeah, the end of this one just kind of threw me for a loop there. So back at the house, the last thing we see is the leader of this gang um, checking the tapes, and then he hears someone. He can't find his friends. He looks. He walks in the room where they were watching the tapes. He's like, "Where the hell is everybody?" And then he hears a noise, and I think he sees the old man, and he takes off running. And he runs, he falls down the stairs, he's still holding the camera, and then the old man comes and just attacks the camera. We see like this zombie type face. Um, but there's one more tape. So somehow one more tape gets played. And this one takes place on Halloween 1998. And this was the best one of them all. This one was really good. Um, you have these four friends. One is dressed like a nanny camera. He's a giant stuffed teddy bear, but with a camera on his head, so he's doing all the recording. Another guy's a pirate, a military guy, and a Unabomber. And they're going to this party. They're, suppo they're trying to find it. The directions are screwed up. and They arrive at this house, and they think it's the party. And they go in, and they don't hear anybody. So they go around back, and they go into the house, and it's this big house, and they think it's... I think it's supposed to be like a haunted house or something and they're walking around the lights are flickering and they're like oh, that's not too scary and as they go through they see some weird paranormal stuff happen but they think it's part of the house they think this was set up as they make their way to the party they're just supposed to run through this scary stuff and it's supposed to freak them out so they're walking around this house um, and they kind of get separated a little and then different things happen to them and then they come back together um, just small stuff like seeing ghosts and then turning and then they're gone. Or hands coming through the walls. And they're talking about how great it is. They're like, damn, this is awesome. This is a great haunted house. And then they start to hear this noise. These people chanting stuff. And they head up to the attic and they see these guys. There's a girl in the middle of the room chained up. And these guys are yelling things at her. And at first they're like, yeah, they're chanting along with it. And then the people turn and look at them like, what the hell are you doing here? Get out of here. You shouldn't be here. And they kind of charge at them. And then one of the chanting people gets sucked up by something. It just pulls them up into the air and throws them. And the other, the people who went to the party get really freaked out. They try and run out of the house. But as they're leaving, they hear the girl screaming, help me, or something like that. And so they end up going back. The guy who's the nanny camera says, Oh man, we can't leave her like this. We gotta go back for her. So they end up going back to the girl and they're trying to save her. And the other the bad guys are getting pulled up in the air and tossed around the house and they get the girl, they cut the uh, the ties on her, and they grab her and they're running through the house all while this weird paranormal stuff is happening to them. Um, hands are coming out of the walls and just all types of creepy stuff. So they're running through the house, and this was really awesome because you see all this weird stuff happening as they pass from room to room, like ghosts or pots and stuff floating in the air, and of course the hands, multiple hands, and then they run into the basement. And once they're in the basement, um, they can't escape. Every time they pass a door, it slowly closes up. So they're trapped in the house. They can't get out of this place. 
Um, eventually, though, they make it outside the house, and they're still running with the girl. They make it to the car, and I'm thinking, okay, what's going to happen? They've made it out. Um, personally, I would see if the girl can walk and just run, but they get in the car, and they're driving, and then the car starts to screw up, and they're like, what the hell's going on? And then the girl in the back seat vanishes out of the car. She's behind the car. She's screaming, and then she disappears. And then they're trying to get the car to move, and it stalls on the railroad tracks. And they can't get the doors open. A train comes, end of the tape. And that was how it ended. And then you see the credits roll as they play like different bits and pieces of the stories and things like that. So yeah, this movie was very good. Um, the only story that was weak was that one where they're in the woods. I didn't care for that very much. But all the others were really interesting even if they didn't have the best conclusions or anything like that it was still a really fun watch and I think this movie is perfect for Halloween um, so I highly recommend this especially if you're a fan of found footage movies paranormal activity type movies anything like that so anyway that's my review of VHS hope you guys like this video leave your thoughts on this movie in the comments below and thanks for watching bye